Hello everyone, my name is Hannah Newhouse and welcome to my presentation for my identity project. Without further ado, let's get started. So to begin, we will just start by discussing some components of my personal identity. What is my personal identity? For starters, I'm a daughter, I'm a big sister, I'm an animal lover, I'm very organized, I'm shy and introverted, I love travel and connecting with nature, I'm a singer, I'm artistic, I love all types of music, and I am a vinyl collector. Here are some examples of my personal identity. Um, they're pretty straightforward. This is me with my family, my parents, my sisters, my childhood pets, me singing at an event, me out in nature. This is one of my paintings I did. And here is um, a picture of some vinyl and records. And another example I want to show you guys is my planner. So I have everything color coded by different colors for each of my classes. And I have a little checklist here to, so I can mark off what I get done. I am super organized with this way and I love referring to lists so I can stay on track. So back to my presentation. We will be moving on to my social identity. My social identity uh, is represented by a number of different things. To start, I used to be a volunteer for National Charity League, NCL for short, which is a mother-daughter volunteering organization that focuses on community service. And my title was TikToker. TikToker. Uh, I was also a member of Bus Buddies in high school. And of course, I'm a PVCC Puma. And I was a member of the SHAC Student Honors Advisory Council, my first semester in college. I'm also a member of Phi Theta Kappa and most recently was a student ambassador. So here are some examples of my social identity. Uh, pretty straightforward, lots of logos and stuff here. And then the picture at the bottom right hand corner is from my ambassador photo shoot. And here I am at the left with all of my ambassador team. It was a really cool experience. So the next part is my cultural identity. So my cultural identity is pretty straightforward. I'm a female. I grew up being religious, more specifically a non-denominational Christian. Um, now I consider myself to be spiritual. I'm also heterosexual. Uh, I'm a straight ally and I advocate for LGBTQ rights. And of course, as you can tell by my appearance, I'm a Caucasian. So here are some examples of my cultural identity. This is the straight ally flag, the female symbol. Here's a picture of me when wearing a cross necklace. And here's a picture of me more recently wearing a cage with an amethyst stone, I believe. And here, um, I want to show you guys a picture of me with my boyfriend that I took, had taken recently. Um, and now back to my presentation. Uh, moving forward, we're going to be focusing on my values and beliefs. So my values, um, to answer the first question, what values are most important to me? Uh, first and foremost, there's always room for, for improvement. Change, change is a good thing. It's important to be proactive. Time is extremely valuable. It's key to be an optimist in this world. Uh, positive thinking can get you a long way. Tenacity and perseverance are important to getting where, where you want to be in life. Um, it's also very important to work hard for what you want instead of having it be handed to you. And of course, strive for success in everything you do. And the one major belief that is important to me is the saying, trust is truth over time. Now, my dad told me this many years ago, 
Um, but it still sticks with me to this day because it's a reminder that honesty is the best policy. And honesty is also something that is extremely important, not only in morals and ethics, but it's also a really strong belief and one that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. So the identity that shapes the values and traditions um, and beliefs I have are, I want to say, a combination of all three uh, components of identity. Um, but more specifically, I feel like my personal identity and some of the experiences I've gone through in my life have shaped all of these values and beliefs because, you know, I have grown so much, you know, even just compared to uh, where I was uh, five years ago, 10 years ago, and even in my childhood. And everything that I've picked up on from experiences in my social life or dealing with family or in um, other cultural settings, uh, all of those things have really um, encapsulated who I am as a person and really has helped me so much in being the amazing person that I am today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and uh, thank you for watching.